Good morning, Senior Kindergarten Explorers. Today, as you can see, we are not on land. We are in the water. And we are gonna explore the pond today. And we're gonna do that from a boat. But before I could get in the boat, I needed to make sure I had my life jacket on. Nadia has her life jacket on. And we are in a kayak. And our kayak does not have a motor we have to do the work and that's why Nadia joined me in my boat today because I am not able to paddle and videotape at the same time so she is going to do a little bit of the work for me she's going to do a little bit of the recording as we are exploring so right now we're kind of along the shoreline of the pond we're close to the land part we're not in the middle of the pond exploring we were going to explore and see what we could see along the land and remember we were looking for nests in the trees before now there's nests in the weeds and those weeds are called cattails and they have nests that maybe the ducks might live in or there's a bird that lives along the edge of the pond and it's called the black wing or red wing blackbird excuse me and if you can see that little spot right there that's a red wing blackbird and they uh, talk a lot they like to chatter but their nests are in the cattails and before I was right up next to the cattails and we're kind of drifting apart or away so I'm gonna have Nadia hold the camera we're gonna get a little bit closer to the cattails just like that nice and tight okay we're gonna get a little bit closer to the cattails so you can see a red winged blackbird nest but the red winged blackbirds are a little bit more they don't like people by them so they tend to kind of talk a lot and chatter a lot when we get close because they don't oh. want us to be by them so if you can see right there there's a nest right in the weeds and then there's another one right down oh, there yeah. where I'm pointing so and that black, red winged blackbird doesn't want to go too far from the nest. It wants to protect its nest. However, we would not go by the nest if we saw that there was something in it. And when we paddled past from a distance before, we could see that right there, now there's nothing in the nest. There's no eggs or anything. So I, I'm not going to disturb the mom or have her worry that we're going to harm her babies in any way. And right now you can see we're moving and we're not even paddling. There's such a breeze right now, we just keep cruising along. So I'm gonna give my phone back to the camera lady so she can hold it. We're gonna do a little bit of paddling. And remember when we were along the path the other day and we found those holes in the ground? And I said those holes belong to a muskrat? Well, they kind of make tunnels in the ground but then to get into the water, they have to have little dens. So we're gonna go see if we can find one of their dens um, and maybe see if it won't come out. It's kind of a windier day today, so I'm not sure if we're gonna see the uh, muskrat come out, but the other day when we were paddling, it was really calm and we saw the muskrat swimming across the pond and then it would go in one den and through a tunnel and come out a different den. So he was on the opposite side of the pond, so we couldn't, we couldn't get close to him where we could get a picture um so that was kind of neat and there were some ducks on the pond earlier but i think with us talking they kind of flew away so we'll see if we can find a muskrat uh den or maybe along the way we'll find something else so nadia is going to hold tight to that phone and you're going to be able to see as we are paddling kind of what we would see along our trip or our journey and our pond is a natural pond um, it's not, we don't treat it right now, so there's a lot of weeds, um, and it's a sand bottom pond. So it's not very deep. At the deepest point, it's maybe, maybe about 12 feet deep. Um, but there's a lot of weeds in the middle of the pond. 
and that's home to a lot of other animals. In our pond, we do get snapping turtles, and you know how we know that? Because in June, maybe about the second week of June, we get the snapping turtles that come up into our yard, and they, she will lay her eggs. So we've seen the snapping turtles, there's some fish in our pond, but we're not big fisher people, so we don't know what kind of fish, and we don't usually go fishing in the pond. Um, I see some more red-winged blackbirds along the edge. They like to live in those cattails, and they like to live right along the edge. And on calm days, if we can come back out, if it's a calm day this week, we'll come back out. And the other night when we were paddling, it was really calm and there were bugs on top of the water. And we could see the little sparrows coming and flying past and eating the bugs right off the top of the water. Nadia, do you remember where that den is? Are we coming up on it? Um. There was one over by where we um, got in. That one's a little bit harder to see though because it's covered by the trees. Um, no, over there. Oh, I see the den coming up. Yeah. Oh, and I'm all wet. There's one den coming up right here. And it just looks like a hole in the ground. Um, so I don't want to get too, too close to bother it. So we want to stay a little bit away. But that's one of the dens. And you can see how the water goes in. And then they can tunnel under the ground. Um, I don't think that one's a den. That one's just a little bit of erosion happening in the side of the pond. The water, when we get little waves like this, will erode away at the land. And that is called erosion. It kind of breaks it apart and wears it down. And then Nadia said there's another one over here in the trees, but this... No, it's not then, over in the trees. It's over by my kayak. But remember the one was over by the trees over here mm -hmm. because that was where he went in that one day mm -hmm. and then he probably came out came came out by my kayak yeah. oh there's another one right there i think or no and now we're going into the wind and it was not so breezy before but it's got breezier so you can hear the paddles paddling kind of hard because we have to paddle against the wind. Oh, I think that one hole was kind of right over in that brushy area. And when we were walking on the path, remember those holes? Mm -hmm. Those holes kind of dug right next to that area over there. So my friends, I'm hoping that you kind of enjoyed being on the pond and seeing all of the different things that we enjoy exploring when we come out on the pond and if the wind dies down maybe we'll take another adventure on the pond or maybe even a different day when it's a little bit more calm or a different time of day in hopes that maybe we can see some different types of animals and different type of wildlife as we are exploring on the pond but we are going to say goodbye and to keep exploring especially this week get outside enjoy the outdoors enjoy earth day and all that our beautiful earth has to offer see you later explorers